This is a shocking story of a girl who had a beautiful and bright future. She wasn't allowed to fulfill her dreams. Everything vanished with her. This true crime story of a poem writer, songwriter, and singer is what was known to be a completely unsolved riddle until her mother solved her case. This young girl walked the aisle in marriage with a man who would later be uncovered as a treacherous serial killer. This chilling narrative unravels with a sense of foreboding, as if her steps down the aisle were leading her into the waiting arms of malevolence. Interestingly, or rather unfortunately, this man made a grim fortune for himself in wake of killing his wives, shrouding his life in an air of unnerving mystery and darkness. But before we begin, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay connected. Annette Craver was a vivacious and adventurous 15-year-old with a profound love for music, poetry, and life itself. According to her mother, she was fond of being alone. This is quite a normal and average life for such a cute and beautiful girl before she turned into this. Well, Annette might have aspired for greatness, but fate dealt her another hand. At this time, she was already in the plans of a danger named Felix. Felix Vale was a man in his early 40s who arrived at a Houston yard sale on a motorcycle at Annette's home. It was there that she lived with her mother Mary. Vale, at 41 years old, struck up a friendship with Annette. Reflecting on this time many years later, Mary Rose would regrettably wish that she had seen the signs her daughter needed professional help to get over the loss of her father. The sweet, innocent 15-year-old, Annette was depressed, vulnerable, and searching for someone or something to fill that void. Mary would later find out that Vale's intentions were not pure, and he just happened to be in the right place at the right time to take advantage of her underage daughter. Felix Vale's early life lays a foundation for understanding the man he would later become. Born on September 24, 1945, in Montague, Texas, he grew up in a family that had its own set of challenges. His father, Duncan Vale, was reportedly a strict and domineering figure, which may have had an impact on shaping Felix's character. His family life was marked by his parents' tumultuous relationship and eventual divorce. This upbringing in an environment of instability and conflict could have played a role in shaping his attitude towards relationships and women. Growing up, Felix displayed a tendency towards introversion and a certain detachment from others. Friends and acquaintances from his youth remember him as reserved and somewhat aloof. The shadows of doubt gathered like storm clouds as Mary mysteriously drowned while on a seemingly innocuous fishing trip with Felix. The chilling undercurrent of her demise raised eyebrows and sent shivers down the spines of those who glimpsed the unsettling pattern emerging in Felix's life. Despite the unsettling questions that swirled around Mary's untimely passing, the cloak of justice remained elusive, and no charges were filed in connection to her death. It was as though Felix had danced on the fringes of darkness, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions that only added to the disconcerting enigma that would later surround him. The years that followed were marked by a series of relationships and encounters with women. It was during this period that Felix met Annette Craver, the young girl who would later become entangled in his life in ways beyond imagination. Felix's ability to charm and establish connections with women appeared to be in stark contrast to the darker undercurrents that seemed to follow him. Unbeknownst to Mary, Annette would find Felix Vale exciting, charming, and present. Annette and Felix developed an intimate relationship even though Annette was underage. Felix manipulated Annette for months. Their lives intertwined seamlessly, and they continued to grow in their relationship. Was it toxic? Initially, they were just in love. Love can be intoxicating, but there was no sign of violence or abuse, as it was reciprocated by both parties involved. Annette and Felix set out on a journey filled with travel and excitement following her high school graduation. As at this time, the teenager was convinced she was ready to spend the rest of her life with this man. After that, she was never the same. Mary had saved up enough money and purchased a home for her and her daughter to start fresh. However, Annette never returned from her road trip with Felix. 
worried and heartbroken, Mary received very few letters from Annette, until one day she received a letter from Annette asking for permission to marry Felix. They actually had a wedding, though not elaborate, but just to signify that they are now couples and ready to take the responsibilities that follows. They exchanged their vows when Annette was only 17, and their union seemed to hold the promise of a beautiful fairy tale. The air was filled with dreams and hopes, and for a moment, it appeared that their love was destined to be the envy of all who beheld it. Soon after their wedding, Annette would write to her mother with disturbing news. As a mother, Mary always had a gut feeling that something just wasn't right. About Felix, her concerns were confirmed, and she would have to fight for her daughter, or she would never see her again. Annette went on to say that after the wedding, Felix did a complete 180, where he had been sweet before he was now cold. He was controlling, abusive, and even forced Annette to go through with an abortion. For a time, Annette had the courage to leave Felix and went to live with her mother. However, that was short-lived. Felix walked straight into Mary's home she owned with Annette and manipulated her once again back into his life. Mary, heartbroken and not knowing what to do, gave in to Felix's demands. She signed the deed over to Annette and moved out. Mary could tell that it was clear as day. Felix had complete control over her daughter. From this point on, the narrative took a chilling and unexpected twist, forever altering the course of events. In the year 1984, when Annette was just 18 years old, she vanished without a trace, leaving behind a void that echoed with unanswered questions. The abrupt and eerie disappearance of Annette sent shockwaves through the lives of those who knew her. The community was gripped with a sense of disbelief and unease, struggling to come to terms with the idea that a vibrant young woman could vanish from the face of the earth without leaving a single clue behind. It defied reason and logic. It was as if she had been plucked from existence itself. The void left by Annette's absence was profound, and it was impossible to fathom that she could have simply disappeared into thin air. The absence of any trace, any hint, or any explanation only deepened the mystery. There were no ransom demands, no signs of foul play, and no indication of an accident that could have led to her vanishing. It was a puzzle that defied all attempts at solution. Felix Vale, Annette's husband, stepped forward with an explanation that seemed as enigmatic as the disappearance itself. He claimed that he had placed her alone on a bus bound for Mexico, a statement that immediately raised eyebrows and skepticism. The unease in her heart was compounded by a revelation from the past Felix Vale had once been under a cloud of suspicion in connection to the death of his first wife, Mary Horton Vale, all the way back in 1962. The echoes of that chilling incident seemed to reverberate through time, casting a shadow over Felix's present. Adding to the sinister tapestry was the unexplained disappearance of Sharon Hensley, a young woman who had last been seen in the company of Felix in 1973. The threads of these disturbing connections wove together in Mary Rose's mind, forming a web of suspicion and dread that she could not escape. Mary Rose reached out to law enforcement agencies, imploring them to re-examine the cases of both Annette's disappearance and the suspicious deaths and disappearances connected to Felix. The road was not easy. She encountered skepticism, bureaucratic hurdles, and the passage of time, which had faded memories and lost crucial evidence. However, her efforts did not go unnoticed. Mary Rose's determination caught the attention of journalists, investigators, and advocates for justice. As the media picked up the story, the once shrouded mysteries surrounding Felix Vale and the vanished women were brought into the spotlight. The power of public pressure began to mount, and the authorities could no longer ignore the haunting questions that lingered in the air. With renewed interest in the case, law enforcement agencies reinitiated investigations into the past incidents connected to Felix. Cold cases were dusted off, files were reopened, and witnesses were re-interviewed. As investigations delved deeper, new witnesses emerged, each bringing a piece of the puzzle. Mary Rose's tireless efforts to keep her daughter's memory alive had catalyzed a movement for justice. The 
story that had once been confined to the shadows was now laid bare for the world to see. The once unsolved riddle was gradually unraveling, and the truth was inching closer to the surface. Mary Rose's unwavering pursuit eventually led to a breakthrough in the case, a breakthrough that would forever change the course of Felix Bale's life and bring closure to the families of the vanished women. The shocking revelations that emerged would send shockwaves through communities and reinforce the chilling realization that sometimes the monsters that haunt our nightmares are all too real. With the mounting evidence and renewed attention on Felix Vale's disturbing history, the legal wheels began to turn. Law enforcement agencies, armed with new information and a determination to seek justice, built a case against Felix Vale. The once seemingly impenetrable facade that had shielded him from consequences was now cracking under the weight of truth and public scrutiny. As the investigation progressed, witnesses were interviewed, forensic evidence was re-examined, and experts in various fields were consulted to shed light on the mysteries that had long baffled investigators. The puzzle pieces were slowly coming together, forming a picture that was as unsettling as it was tragic. The legal proceedings that followed were marked by dramatic courtroom scenes and emotional testimonies. Families of the victims shared their heart-wrenching stories, recounting the pain of loss and the years of uncertainty that had plagued them. Mary Rose, the unwavering force behind the quest for justice, stood as a pillar of strength, a testament to a mother's love and a relentless pursuit of truth. Felix Vale, once a master of manipulation, now found himself facing the consequences of his alleged actions. The courtroom became a stage where his past was laid bare, and the chilling details of his life were exposed for all to see. The prosecution presented a compelling case, weaving together a narrative of deception, control, and a trail of bodies that spanned decades. The defense, on the other hand, fought to cast doubt on the evidence and the motives behind the accusations. They painted a picture of a misunderstood man, a victim of circumstances, and questioned the reliability of witnesses who had come forward after years of silence. The trial's outcome would be a turning point in the saga. After days of deliberation, the jury delivered a verdict that sent shockwaves through the courtroom. Felix Vale was found guilty of the crimes he had been accused of murder and foul play in the cases of his first wife, Mary Horton Vale, and his daughter-in-law, Annette Craver. The sentencing phase was equally intense as the families of the victims and Felix himself addressed the court. Annette Craver's dreams were cut short, but her story became a testament to the strength of those who refused to let her memory fade away. And so, the story of the girl with a beautiful future, the treacherous serial killer, and the relentless pursuit of truth came to a close. But the echoes of that story continued to inspire change, spark conversations, and serve as a chilling reminder that evil can exist in the most unexpected places. Tell us what you think in the comments below about Annette's story. If you found this story intriguing, like and subscribe to stay connected for more stories just like this one. Thank you for watching.